In some pretty groundbreaking news, this is Web3 looking at Adobe's Behance adding support for Solana NFTs. Not a new story that I thought I would be looking at today, but crypto is full of surprises. Let's go through what's happening here. This integration is available for Behance creators with Phantom wallets and the feature powered by Quicknode. Let's see what's happening here. Behance, the creator showcase platform owned by Adobe, announced on Monday that users can now connect their Phantom wallets to their Behance accounts and showcase Solana NFTs on their profiles. Phantom is a Solana wallet built for De DeFi or DeFi applications as well as for NFTs. Quicknote, a Miami-based Web3 infrastructure platform, helped build it out with Adobe on Solana. Behance creators can already display their NFTs minted on Ethereum blockchain with their profiles. William Allen, the Adobe vice president leading Behance, Behance explained on Twitter that many of Behance users, however, may no longer want to associate with Ethereum due to concerns over its high energy usage and gas costs. I actually wasn't aware that Behance has already got into the ETH and NFT scene. That's interesting. So therefore, this isn't as much of a surprise, I guess. Alan tweeted that the Solana is a proof of stake chain that addresses these concerns, pointing out that a single transaction on Solana uses as much energy as a Google search and costs a fraction of a penny. With that being said, we're going to have a quick look at what William Allen has actually put out here. This again being the VP, the Vice President at Adobe leading Behance. Our mission at Behance has been steadfast over a decade. Help creators build their, career, their careers on their own terms. Some choose to freelance, some want full-time gigs, offer, some offer subscriptions, some sell templates, some live stream and some others sell NFTs. Starting today, you can connect your Phantom wallet and showcase the Solana NFTs you created on your Behance profile. There are already tens of thousands of Behance users showcasing the NFTs created on Ethereum. Some though have concerns about the energy costs, sorry, energy use and uh, high transaction costs. As a proof of stake chain, Solana addresses this. A single transaction on Solana uses less energy than two Google searches and costs a fraction of a penny. While they work towards full decentralization, the low energy usage and transaction fees are a real innovation. It's a simple app for a creative to mint a one-on-one -on, -one on Solana using tools like Holoplex and create their own storefront for the more technically inclined Metaplex gives you full control or full technical control. I've heard good things about marketplaces like Magic Eden and Form Function. A shout out to the entire Quicknote team for helping build it out. Unfortunately, many creators have had their work stolen in the NFT space. I've been, uh, I've been very focused on this for the past year. Soon, your Solana address will be added to the content credentials tools in peace to help ensure you get credit for your work. There's a lot more work to come, additional chains as well as more advanced work to help stay informed on everything that has been happening. And realistically, this is a true concern. People do worry about, and understandably, about theft in the NFT space because it absolutely does happen and no one says or no one is saying that they don't and anyone who does say it they don't is very disingenuous because this scene is absolutely plagued by scams and theft that being said of course that is how people use technologies it's terrible it needs to be uh, moderated and policed and over time we'll i'm sure see more of that and of course that's what we're seeing adobe doing right now that being said this isn't going to be popular with a lot of adobe users because many Adobe users are artists and many artists are still, in my opinion, uninformed about NFTs and Web3 and blockchain and how it can actually improve their lives and are instead more focused on understandably being um, having their work stolen. With that being said, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take. This is the Web3 channel coming everything happening from crypto, NFT, metaverse news, anything like this that you're interested, subscribe to this channel. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next Web3 video.